Good morning everyone. I am Logeshwari, Assistant Professor, Department of Nutrition and Dietetics in General Home Science. To, today we are going to discuss about Unit 2. So in Unit 2, the major topic which is beyond child development and principles of growth and development of the children. So it includes 12 principles of child development and general principles are taken from a review of the yearly childhood literature and principles should be considered when making the decisions about the children. Here, NAEYC principles of the children. So, what is NAEYC principle? Here comes that is domain of the uh, children de children's development, which includes the physical, social, emotional, cognitive. So, cognitive, which is related totally related to the brain development, and are closely are uh, related. These three are closely related. Who are they? Physical, social, and the cognitive. And development occurs in the relatively orderly sequence with the later abilities, skills, and knowledge, and building on those already acquired. A development proceeds at varying uh, rates from the child to child as well as unevenly within the different areas of each child's functioning. Early experiences have both cumulative and delayed effects on the individual's chil individual children's development. Optimal periods exist for the certain types of the development and learning. And this development proceeds in predictable direction towards the greater complexity, organizations and internationalizations. So, development and learning occur in, are influenced by the multiple social and cultural context. So, children are active learners drawing on the direct uh, physical or social experiences as well as culturally transmitted uh, knowledge to construct their own understanding uh, by the world around them. Next, these are the theories of development. So, Balvin has surveyed, uh, surveyed the current theories of the child development and has concluded the scientific theories are useful for both scientific and laymen in providing the ways or thinking about their behavior. So, this is useful. Uh, th this is an useful theory which attempts to explain uh, some unknown phenomena in terms of the concepts uh, with which we are uh, already familiar. Next, these are the factors which affect which affects the growth and development of the children. Uh, basically, heredity is the ma major reason because it comes from the genetic gene itself. So, here the first uh, the major factor which affects the children's growth and development was the heredity, and then gender. Uh, base, uh, gender gives all, gives gender gives the factors affecting the growth and development of the children because uh, uh, male children and the female children so these are uh, both uh, were uh, were in a different gene so they get to vary their uh, growth and development and this is an injury and nutrition and emotions the next thing is education in infancy so how the education plays an important uh, role in uh, uh, infancy uh, how they treat uh, because in, instead of learning uh, using the books and all and they presenting the good examples and education starts with the birds and education through the activities uh, don't give the wrong notion uh, to the child uh, about his merit and learning of the social etiquette and care about the dress food sleeping habits and child's mind very active and precautions regarding the price and punishments, no shift in responsibility, importance of the mother tongue. And this is the Kogbex pyramid of the stage. Here also comes, it is a various stage uh, that here comes level 1, level 2 and level 3. Uh, so this explains the um, Kogbex pyramid stages. And this is the theory of moral development. This is also given a stage 1, stage 2, stage 3 up to stage 6. In stage 1, avoid punishments and stage 2, aiming at a reward and stage 3, good boy, good girl's attitude and stage 4, loyalty to law and order and stage 5, justice and spirit of the laws and stage 6, universal principles of the ethics. So, these come under the category that is stage 1 and stage 2 which comes under the pro-conventional level and stage 3 and stage 4 which con uh, which comes under the conventional level and stage 5 and 6, uh, six uh, which uh, comes under the post-conventional level. Thank you.